So, um, Elmer mess, mentioned yesterday about doing a little sharing. It was a little on the short notice side, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. I, I thought it was uh, only fitting that eight years ago today, um, we had a stillborn son. I know uh, there's more of you here that have lost children, and <clears throat> it's been a also, yesterday would have been the due date for uh, the other child, which we don't know what it was that we lost in a miscarriage last summer. So it's been a, um, some, definitely some uh, high-running emotions. So I thought this would be the good time to um, talk about God just willingly giving His Son for us. <clears throat> So um, maybe before we start, we'll just do a little prayer and I just thank you, God, for this day. I thank you for all these saints that we are surrounded with, and we just pray that any words that come about today will be um, just soften our hearts and help us to absorb them and take them for your, your words and not ours. And we just pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> So obviously there's the, um, the, the obvious ones, like the John 3.16, um, I think we all know that one, so uh, uh, I'm going to jump over to, I'll just jump around a little bit, I'm not going to go crazy here, but just found some uh, good references. I'm going to go to Titus uh, 2.14, uh, <clears throat> who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. And I'll run to uh, Mark chapter 10, verse 45. <clears throat> for even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. And uh, Ephesians 5, uh, verse 2, <clears throat> And walk in love as Christ has also hath loved us and hath given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. And uh, go to Romans chapter 5, <clears throat> uh, verse, I think, starting in verse 6 through 11 there. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. In uh, 1 Peter 18, uh, 1 Peter 1, 18. <clears throat> and 19. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. And then Hebrews 2. <clears throat> uh, verse 9 and 10. But we see Jesus... Who, has made, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God 
should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. And in uh, Hebrews 9, let's see, Hebrews 9, 28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. And Hebrews 10, I'm going to read through uh, verse 5 through 17. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body thou hast prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering, and burned offerings, and offering for sin, thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sin. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool, for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, For after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds, and I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Then uh, I think I'm just going to share yet Isaiah 53, verse 4 and 5. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. That's all I got.